Welcome to another captivating episode of Timeless Talks. Today, we explore the ethical dimensions of genetic engineering and gene editing, uncovering insights from the past to guide us forward. Our discussion will be enriched by the wisdom of Siddhartha Gautama, known as Buddha, and the scientific expertise of Louis Pasteur. Get ready for a thought-provoking journey into the intersection of morality, science, and progress. Genetic engineering and gene editing offer incredible potential to address genetic diseases and enhance human capabilities, but with this power comes immense responsibility. The ethical considerations surrounding these advancements are vast and complex, and it is crucial to explore them thoroughly to ensure that we use these technologies in ways that benefit all living beings. But let's not approach this discussion in a conventional manner. No, today we take an offbeat approach, weaving together the wisdom of the ages with the power of scientific inquiry. Our guests today are no ordinary individuals. They are legends, figures whose insights have shaped the course of history, and whose perspectives can shed light on the moral quandaries we face in the realm of genetic engineering. Without further ado, allow me to introduce our distinguished guests whose voices from the past resonate with timeless relevance. First, we have Siddhartha Gautama, known as Buddha, the enlightened one whose teachings have touched the hearts and minds of millions. And joining him is the renowned scientific pioneer, Louis Pasteur, whose groundbreaking discoveries have revolutionized the world of biology and medicine. Buddha, with his profound wisdom and emphasis on compassion, brings a unique perspective on the ethical implications of genetic engineering, while Pasteur, with his scientific acumen, provides valuable insights into the technical and practical aspects of this cutting-edge field. Now, let's give each of our remarkable guests an opportunity to introduce themselves briefly, in their own words. Buddha, please enlighten us with your introductory words. Greetings, seekers of truth and wisdom. I am Siddhartha Gautama, known to many as Buddha, the Awakened One. Through a life of contemplation and introspection, I have sought to understand the nature of existence and alleviate the suffering of all sentient beings. My teachings emphasize the interconnectedness of life and the importance of ethical conduct in promoting harmony and compassion. As we navigate the complexities of genetic engineering and gene editing, it is essential to approach these advancements with mindfulness and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of all living beings. Reflecting upon my own words, I remind you, in a controversy, the instant we feel anger, we have already ceased striving for the truth and have begun striving for ourselves. With a gentle and compassionate heart, let us explore the ethical implications of these technologies, acknowledging the profound responsibility we hold in shaping the future. As I once said, radiate boundless love towards the entire world, let our discussions be guided by love, empathy, and a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all life. May our journey together be one of introspection, enlightenment, and the pursuit of truth. Thank you for being here. And now, let us turn our attention to Louis Pasteur, the trailblazing scientist who forever changed the landscape of medicine. Louis, the stage is yours. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, seekers of knowledge and scientific understanding. I am Louis Pasteur a man driven by curiosity and dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the microbial world. Throughout my career, I have tirelessly pursued the truth through rigorous experimentation and empirical observation. My discoveries in the realms of microbiology, immunology, and fermentation have transformed our understanding of the invisible world of microorganisms and revolutionized the field of biology and medicine. As we delve into the complexities of genetic engineering and gene editing, it is crucial to approach these powerful tools with scientific rigor and a deep understanding of the potential risks and benefits they entail. I once remarked, in the field of observation, chance favors the prepared mind. Let us be prepared to critically examine the ethical implications of these technologies and make informed decisions based on sound scientific principles. I aim to share my knowledge and insights, breaking down complex concepts into digestible information that can be understood by all. Drawing upon my own experiences and research, I hope to shed light on the practical and technical aspects of genetic engineering, while also considering the ethical challenges that arise from manipulating the very fabric of life. Welcome to this enlightening discourse, where science and ethics converge to shape the future of our world. Thank you, Mr. Pasteur, for that informative introduction. Now, let's turn to Siddhartha. Your teachings emphasize compassion and the minimization of suffering. How do you believe the ethical considerations of genetic engineering and gene editing align with these principles? Given the immense potential of these technologies to alleviate human suffering and cure diseases, 
Do you see them as compatible with your teachings? Or do you have concerns about the implications of these advancements for the future of humanity and all living beings? We would love to hear your insights on this pressing topic. Dear David, thank you for that thought-provoking question. Compassion and the minimization of suffering are at the core of my teachings. I believe that every sentient being deserves love, empathy, and respect. In the realm of genetic engineering and gene editing, it becomes vital to ensure that these principles guide our actions and decisions. While these technologies hold immense potential to alleviate human suffering and cure diseases, we must tread carefully. The ethical considerations lie in how we utilize these advancements and the intentions behind their application. We should ask ourselves whether the modification of life's fundamental building blocks aligns with the values of compassion, empathy, and interconnectedness. My concern arises when the pursuit of genetic enhancement or modification becomes driven by selfish desires or a lack of consideration for the well-being of all beings. It is crucial to weigh the potential benefits against the potential risks, unintended consequences, and the potential for further inequality and suffering. Just as a flower does not pick and choose who can enjoy its fragrance, compassion should not be selective. We must consider the broader implications of genetic engineering on the web of life and ensure that our actions are rooted in compassion for all beings, not just a select few. In contemplating these advancements, let us strive for wisdom, balance, and ethical conduct. By doing so, we can navigate the complexities of genetic engineering and gene editing in a way that aligns with the principles of compassion, minimizing suffering, and the well-being of all living beings. Thank you Siddhartha Gautama for your insightful response. Your emphasis on compassion, empathy, and the broader implications of genetic engineering and gene editing is truly thought-provoking. Now, turning to you Louis Pasteur, as a renowned scientist and pioneer in the field of microbiology, your scientific expertise brings a unique perspective to this discussion. Considering your deep understanding of the intricacies of biology and medicine, what are the ethical challenges that you foresee in the realm of genetic engineering and gene editing? How can we ensure that the scientific community maintains ethical standards and mitigates potential risks associated with these advancements? Thank you, David, for the introduction and having me here today. As a scientist deeply engaged in the study of microbiology, I am honored to share my insights on the ethical considerations surrounding genetic engineering and gene editing. Genetic engineering and gene editing present both exciting opportunities and ethical challenges. One of the foremost concerns is the potential for unintended consequences. When we manipulate the genetic makeup of living organisms, we must carefully consider the potential long-term effects on both individuals and ecosystems. It is crucial to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly and with a comprehensive understanding of their impact. Additionally, the issue of consent arises when it comes to genetic engineering in humans. Respecting the autonomy and informed choices of individuals is vital. We must uphold strict ethical standards to avoid any form of coercion or manipulation. To address these challenges, it is essential for the scientific community to actively engage in ongoing ethical discussions and establish guidelines for responsible research and application of genetic engineering and gene editing. Collaboration with ethicists, policymakers, and the public is crucial to create a framework that ensures the well-being of both individuals and society as a whole. Education also plays a vital role. By promoting scientific literacy and fostering public understanding of genetic engineering and gene editing, we can encourage informed decision-making and facilitate a more inclusive dialogue on the ethical implications of these technologies. In conclusion, while the potential of genetic engineering and gene editing is immense, it is our responsibility as scientists and researchers to proceed with caution and uphold ethical standards. Through responsible practices, ongoing discussions, and public engagement, we can navigate the ethical challenges and harness the transformative power of these technologies for the betterment of humanity. Indeed, as you mentioned, the unintended consequences of manipulating the genetic makeup of living beings are a significant concern. It is crucial to carefully weigh the potential impacts on individuals and ecosystems before proceeding with any genetic engineering interventions. The responsible use of these technologies demands a comprehensive understanding of the potential risks and a commitment to mitigating them. Now, turning to you, Siddhartha, considering these principles, 
How do you view the potential consequences for living beings and the responsibilities that come with manipulating their genetic makeup? Given your profound insights into the interconnectedness of all life, we are eager to hear your thoughts on how these technologies align with your teachings and how we can approach them responsibly. Reflecting upon the potential consequences for living beings and the responsibilities that come with manipulating their genetic makeup, I find it essential to delve into the core principles of my teachings. From a reflective standpoint, genetic engineering and gene editing carry profound implications for the interconnectedness of all life. These technologies poses the power to shape the very essence of living beings, altering their physical and biological characteristics. In this process, it becomes crucial to approach these advancements with mindfulness and wisdom. First and foremost, we must recognize the inherent dignity and intrinsic value of every living being. Each organism, whether human or non-human, is part of a complex web of existence. Manipulating their genetic makeup requires a deep respect for the intrinsic nature of life and a profound understanding of the far-reaching consequences of our actions. Compassion, a guiding principle of my teachings, reminds us of the profound interconnectedness of all living beings. As we navigate the realm of genetic engineering, it is imperative to consider the well-being and flourishing of all sentient beings. The responsible use of these technologies should aim to minimize suffering, promote empathy, and foster harmony within the intricate tapestry of life. Furthermore, a reflective approach demands a thorough examination of the motivations and intentions behind genetic engineering and gene editing. It calls for an honest inquiry into the ethical implications and long-term consequences of our actions. As we manipulate the genetic fabric of life, we must ensure that our intentions are rooted in compassion, driven by the sincere desire to alleviate suffering and promote the greater good. In embracing the potential of these technologies, we must also recognize the ethical responsibilities that accompany them. Open dialogue, transparency, and a collective commitment to ethical guidelines are essential. It is through these means that we can ensure the responsible and mindful utilization of genetic engineering and gene editing. To navigate this uncharted territory, I encourage scientists, policymakers, ethicists, and society as a whole to engage in deep reflection, fostering a comprehensive understanding of the consequences of our actions. May we approach these technologies with wisdom, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to the well-being of all living beings. Your teachings on the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of compassion and empathy towards all beings are especially relevant in this context, Mr. Pastor. We are eager to hear your thoughts on how scientists and researchers can approach these technologies responsibly. From your extensive research on microorganisms and infectious diseases, what do you see as the potential consequences of manipulating the genetic makeup of living organisms? And how can we ensure that these technologies are used safely and ethically? I believe it is crucial to consider the potential consequences and ethical considerations associated with manipulating the genetic makeup of living organisms. Genetic engineering and gene editing hold tremendous potential for advancements in medicine, agriculture, and other fields. However, they also pose certain risks that must be carefully addressed. One significant concern is the potential unintended effects on the target organism or the wider ecosystem. Alterations in the genetic code can have unforeseen consequences that may disrupt natural processes and lead to unintended outcomes. Thus, thorough research, rigorous testing, and comprehensive risk assessments are essential in ensuring the safety and efficacy of these technologies. Additionally, scientists and researchers must adhere to high ethical standards when utilizing genetic engineering and gene editing technologies. We have responsibility to consider the welfare and autonomy of the living beings involved. Respect for life and the avoidance of unnecessary suffering should guide our decision-making process. Informed consent, transparency, and open dialogue with relevant stakeholders are crucial in maintaining ethical practices. To mitigate potential risks and ensure responsible use, it is imperative for scientists and researchers to collaborate closely with regulatory bodies, ethical committees, and the wider scientific community. By establishing clear guidelines, robust oversight mechanisms, and ongoing monitoring, we can ensure that genetic engineering and gene editing technologies are used safely, ethically, and for the benefit of all.
In conclusion, while genetic engineering and gene editing offer tremendous possibilities, scientists and researchers must approach them with a deep sense of responsibility. By prioritizing rigorous research, ethical considerations, and collaboration, we can harness the power of these technologies while safeguarding the well-being of all living organisms. Your expertise in the field of microbiology brings a scientific perspective to this crucial discussion. Now, turning to you Siddhartha, with your profound wisdom, we seek your guidance on how society can navigate the ethical dilemmas that emerge when addressing genetic diseases and enhancing human capabilities through genetic engineering and gene editing. Considering the potential consequences and responsibilities associated with manipulating the genetic makeup of living beings, how do you envision striking a balance between the desire to alleviate suffering and the need to ensure ethical practices? In a world where advancements in genetic engineering hold great promise for human well-being, what principles and values can guide us in making decisions that align with your teachings? We eagerly await your insights on how we can approach these ethical dilemmas with mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, ensuring that our actions in the realm of genetic engineering and gene editing uphold the sanctity of life and foster the greater good for all beings. In contemplating these matters, it is crucial to acknowledge the potential consequences and responsibilities associated with manipulating the genetic makeup of living beings. The desire to alleviate suffering is noble, and the advancements in genetic engineering hold great promise for human well-being. First and foremost, the principle of interconnectedness should guide our actions. Recognizing that all life is interconnected, we must consider the impact of our choices on the well-being of individuals, communities, and the ecosystem as a whole. Just as a stone cast into a pond creates ripples that spread far and wide, our actions in genetic engineering have far-reaching implications. Compassion should be at the heart of our decision-making. We must prioritize the alleviation of suffering and the promotion of well-being for all beings. It should not be pursued solely for personal gain or superficial desires. Instead, they should be driven by the genuine intention to alleviate human suffering and promote the greater good. Ethical practices should be upheld as the foundation of our actions. Respecting the dignity, autonomy, and informed consent of individuals is essential. We must ensure that no harm is inflicted, both in the immediate sense and with regard to long-term consequences. Striving for transparency, accountability, and responsible governance can help mitigate the risks associated with these technologies. Furthermore, wisdom should guide us in discerning the appropriate boundaries. It is important to reflect upon the potential long-term consequences and unintended effects that may arise from our interventions. While advancements in science are beneficial, we must exercise caution and humility in our pursuit of knowledge, always considering the delicate balance of life. In conclusion, as society grapples with the ethical dilemmas posed by genetic engineering and gene editing, mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom should be our guiding lights. By embracing the principles of interconnectedness, compassion, ethical practices, and wisdom, we can ensure that our actions in this realm uphold the sanctity of life and foster the greater good for all beings. Mr. Pasteur, it is crucial for society to navigate the delicate balance between scientific progress and the ethical concerns that arise. Based on your expertise and groundbreaking contributions to science, we eagerly seek your insights on how we can strike this balance. How can we foster an environment that encourages scientific progress while upholding rigorous ethical standards? In the face of rapid advancements, how can society ensure that the pursuit of knowledge does not compromise the well-being of individuals and the integrity of life itself? To foster an environment that encourages scientific progress while upholding rigorous ethical standards, it is crucial to establish robust measures and guidelines. These should include thorough risk assessments and a comprehensive understanding of the potential consequences associated with this topic. By integrating ethical considerations into the research and development process, we can ensure that scientific advancements align with the principles of integrity and responsible innovation. Collaboration is also paramount. The scientific community should actively engage with ethicists, policymakers, and stakeholders from diverse backgrounds to establish a multidisciplinary approach to ethical decision-making. Open dialogue and consultation will help us identify and address the concerns and perspectives of various stakeholders, enabling the development of inclusive and responsible practices. Furthermore, 
public awareness and education play vital roles in navigating the complex landscape of genetic engineering. By promoting scientific literacy and fostering informed public discourse, we can empower individuals to make well-informed decisions and participate in ethical discussions. This includes engaging with the broader public through transparent communication, ensuring that the benefits, risks, and ethical implications of genetic engineering are understood by all. Lastly, ethical responsibility lies not only with scientists and researchers, but with society as a whole. It is incumbent upon individuals, organizations, and governing bodies to uphold ethical values and principles. This involves implementing stringent oversight mechanisms, such as regulatory frameworks and ethical review processes, to ensure compliance and accountability in the use of genetic engineering technologies. In conclusion, by embracing the scientific approach grounded in ethical considerations, fostering collaboration, promoting public awareness, and upholding shared responsibilities, we can navigate the complex landscape of genetic engineering and gene editing while striking a balance between scientific progress and ethical concerns. Thank you for your profound insights into the ethical considerations surrounding this topic. Your perspectives have shed light on the delicate balance between scientific progress and ethical responsibility. Siddhartha, drawing from your profound wisdom, we would be honored to hear your perspective on how we can embrace the interconnectedness of all living beings and their well-being. When grappling with the ethical implications of genetic engineering and gene editing, please share your insights on how we can ensure that our actions in this realm reflect compassion, wisdom, and respect for the intricate web of life. As we navigate the ethical implications of these advancements, it is crucial to embrace a holistic perspective that encompasses the intricate web of life. Reflecting upon this interconnectedness, I would like to share a teaching, all beings tremble before violence, all fear death, all love life. See yourself in others. Then whom can you hurt? What harm can you do? These words remind us of the universal bond that connects us all, transcending boundaries and species. When contemplating the ethical implications of gene editing, it is essential to extend our compassion and empathy to all living beings affected by our actions. To honor the interconnectedness of life, we must consider not only the immediate effects on individuals but also the potential consequences that reverberate through ecosystems and generations. In navigating the ethical implications, I encourage a mindful examination of the intentions behind our actions. Are we driven solely by the pursuit of knowledge and progress, or do we also hold the well-being of all beings at heart? Let our decisions be guided by the intention to alleviate suffering and promote the greater good, aligning with the values of compassion, wisdom, and respect for life. Furthermore, an inclusive and collaborative approach is crucial. By engaging diverse voices and perspectives, including ethicists, scientists, policymakers, and the wider public, we foster dialogue that enriches our understanding of the complex implications of genetic engineering. Through open and compassionate dialogue, we can navigate this realm with collective wisdom, incorporating a range of perspectives to make informed and ethically responsible choices. As we tread this path, let us remember that our actions ripple through the tapestry of life. Your teachings of compassion, wisdom, and respect for life resonate deeply in our quest for understanding and ethical responsibility. Now, turning to you, Louis Pasteur, what key ethical considerations do you anticipate arising from the continued development and application of genetic engineering and gene editing technologies, considering the long-term consequences? We must remain steadfast in our commitment to ethical considerations. The power of these technologies is immense, and can have far-reaching consequences. As a scientist, I believe that rigorous scientific research, empirical evidence, and logical reasoning must guide our decisions and actions. One of the key ethical considerations that we must anticipate is the unintended consequences. As we manipulate genes and genetic information, we may unknowingly create new diseases or genetic mutations that can have harmful effects on individuals and populations. It is therefore crucial that we thoroughly assess and analyze the potential long-term consequences of these technologies before they are applied in the real world. Another ethical consideration that we must keep in mind is the issue of equity and access. These technologies have the potential to revolutionize medicine and healthcare, but we must ensure that they are accessible to all, regardless of socioeconomic status or geographic location. We must work to prevent the creation of genetic haves and have-nots, 
and promote a just and equitable distribution of the benefits of these technologies. In conclusion, the continued development and application of genetic engineering and gene editing technologies must be guided by rigorous scientific research and a steadfast commitment to ethical considerations. We must anticipate the potential long-term consequences of these technologies and work to ensure that they are used in a just and equitable manner. Only then can we truly harness the power of these technologies to improve the well-being of all humanity. As I have said before, science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity and is the torch which illuminates the world. Your emphasis on rigorous research and empirical evidence underscores the importance of a scientific approach in shaping ethical conduct. Now, turning to you Siddhartha, how individuals and societies can approach the ethical decisions surrounding genetic engineering and gene editing. In a world where these technologies hold great potential for both good and harm, how can we minimize the potential for harm and promote ethical conduct? In a world where these powerful technologies hold both great potential for good and harm, it is essential to navigate them with some values. To minimize the potential for harm and promote ethical conduct, I offer the following guidance to individuals and societies grappling with these ethical decisions. Firstly, let us remember the interconnectedness of all beings and the intricate web of life. As we tamper with the genetic fabric of existence, it is crucial to recognize that our actions ripple through this interconnected web affecting not only individuals but also the broader ecosystem. By cultivating a deep understanding of this interconnectedness, we can approach genetic engineering and gene editing with reverence and responsibility, ensuring that our pursuits align with the well-being of all beings and the preservation of the integrity of life. Secondly, let us embrace the values of mindfulness and compassion. Mindfulness allows us to be fully present, aware of the consequences of our actions and attentive to the potential impacts they may have on individuals, communities, and the environment. Through compassionate discernment, we can assess the ethical implications of our choices, considering not only short-term gains but also the long-term consequences that extend far beyond our immediate desires. As we navigate these ethical dilemmas, it is vital to engage in open dialogue and seek diverse perspectives. By fostering inclusive conversations that involve ethicists, scientists, policymakers, and the wider public, we create an environment where ethical considerations are collectively explored and decisions are made with a broader understanding of the interconnected nature of life. Moreover, we must cultivate wisdom, both individually and collectively. Wisdom guides us to consider the long-term effects of our actions, to understand the complexity of life's interconnectedness, and to make choices that align with the greater good. It encourages us to recognize that the well-being of all beings is intertwined and that the pursuit of scientific progress should be guided by ethical responsibility and respect for the intricate balance of life. In conclusion, as we stand at the crossroads of scientific progress and ethical responsibility, let us approach the decisions with mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom. Reflecting on these teachings, I share this guidance in the hope that it will empower individuals and societies to make ethical choices that minimize harm and uphold the values of compassion and wisdom. May our collective actions be guided by the recognition of our interconnectedness and the pursuit of a more compassionate and harmonious world. Now, turning to you Louis Pasteur, based on your expertise, what role do you believe scientists and researchers should play in addressing the ethical concerns raised by genetic engineering and gene editing, and how can they make informed decisions? In the realm of scientific progress, it is crucial for scientists and researchers to approach their work with a deep sense of responsibility and uphold rigorous ethical standards. As pioneers in their fields, they possess a unique position to shape the course of technological advancements and influence their societal implications. Therefore, it is imperative that they embrace their roles with integrity and mindfulness. Scientists and researchers must prioritize the well-being of all individuals and the preservation of the integrity of life when navigating the ethical landscape. This requires a thorough understanding of the potential consequences of their actions and a commitment to minimizing harm. They should engage in comprehensive risk assessments, considering both short-term and long-term impacts on individuals, ecosystems, and society as a whole. To ensure informed decision-making, 
Scientists and researchers must actively engage in ongoing dialogue with a diverse range of stakeholders, including ethicists, policymakers, and the public. This collaborative approach allows for a broader perspective, fostering a deeper understanding of the ethical implications and enabling the development of robust ethical frameworks. Furthermore, the scientific community should promote transparency and open communication regarding research findings, methodologies, and potential risks associated with these technologies. By sharing knowledge and insights, they contribute to the collective understanding of the benefits and risks involved, enabling more informed decision-making by society as a whole. In essence, scientists and researchers have a profound responsibility to act as guardians of ethical conduct in the pursuit of scientific progress. They must approach their work with humility, acknowledging the limitations and uncertainties inherent in technological advancements. By placing the well-being of all beings at the forefront of their endeavors, they can shape a future where the potential benefits are realized while minimizing harm and upholding ethical standards. It is through the dedication and unwavering commitment of scientists and researchers that we can navigate the complex terrain of genetic engineering and gene editing with strength, clarity, and an unyielding dedication to the greater good of all. Ladies and gentlemen, what an enlightening and thought-provoking discussion we've had today on the ethics of genetic engineering and gene editing. I extend my deepest gratitude to our esteemed guests, Siddhartha Gautama and Louis Pasteur, for sharing their profound wisdom, insights, and expertise. Their contributions have undoubtedly enriched our understanding of this complex and crucial topic. As we conclude this conversation, I encourage each and every one of you our viewers to delve deeper into the ethics of genetic engineering and gene editing. These powerful technologies hold immense potential for shaping our future, and it is our responsibility to engage in meaningful dialogue, educate ourselves, and form well-informed opinions. If you yearn for a deeper understanding of Siddhartha Gautama's teachings on mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, I invite you to explore our Who Is Who playlist. These videos will provide you with a personal, one-on-one -on -one encounter with Siddhartha and other notable figures who have shaped our world. Likewise, if you desire a deeper dive into the scientific realm, I urge you to explore the works of Louis Pasteur and other pioneering scientists who have paved the way for our understanding of the natural world. Their groundbreaking research and discoveries continue to inspire and inform our present-day endeavors. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors of understanding. By seeking out diverse perspectives, engaging in thoughtful conversations, and embracing a commitment to ethical conduct, we can navigate the complexities of genetic engineering and gene editing with greater clarity, integrity, and responsibility. Thank you our viewers for joining us today. Until we meet again in our next engaging topic, I bid you farewell, and may our paths cross again on the journey of knowledge and discovery.